Judge. Welcome back to my channel. So it is Tuesday, which means it's spooky video day. Hey, I didn't do spooky. <laughs> ah, that would always be funny. So today I am reading a story from Reddit called My Good Axe Went Missing. It's from Redditor, it's from the Reddit, the Reddit form, Let's Not Meet, which I've heard is a really good thing. And yes, there's not a further update to There's Something Wrong With My Fiance. Yes, there's a part nine, but that's not really something that goes along with the story. So we have finished it. Go us, high five. Now let's jump right into my good ex went missing. My wife and I moved down south last January and rented a nice house in what we thought was a nice part of town. We are both prior military and through various means, I managed to get my hands on a really nice government issued axe. I left it out back like a dummy, and the next time I went to chop some wood, it was gone. I was pretty upset and thought about reporting it, but it was honestly more trouble than it was worth. After my axe went missing, I started to keep a close eye on the people who lived directly behind us. We had been warned uh, we had been warned our first day in the neighborhood that they were into some pretty serious drugs, and as it turned out, they were more than a little violent. I was absolutely sure that they took my axe, and I could see a little shed on their property where I thought they were keeping it. Their violence to themselves and others got to the point where I ended up installing a security camera so that I could keep tabs on what they were up to from my office. One of these guys was clearly out of his mind on drugs every time I was on. He would beat his girlfriend in the yard, I would, and I would call the cops and I'd to sleep for my wife's sake. She was terrified of these people. One day I was at the gas station on the corner getting coffee, and a golden opportunity struck. The crazy meth head and his girlfriend hurriedly pulled their truck into the parking lot and ran inside. The guy was hyperventilating and going nuts, shouting, Did they see us? Did they see us? Do you know what this means? And it was at this point that I saw a cop car pull into cop car pull into the diner across the street. I noticed that the meth heads had backed their truck up, and in the bed was four or five children's bicycles. I put two and two together and figured they had stolen the bicycles. Had a cop following them, got it into there that the police knew. Sorry, my nose is just really bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and tried to hide in the gas station. I paid for my coffee and left. I figured they were so blessed out of their minds that they didn't recognize me. I was wrong. So as I started walking back to my house, I waved the cop over and told them that, they were, that there were two people inside the gas station that they were clear that were clearly hiding from them. He thanked me, pulled into the station, and about ten minutes later I saw a second cruiser pulling from my kitchen window. I waited all day for their crappy truck to pull back into their driveway, but I never saw it, or the owners again. Weeks had passed and we were enjoying our newfound peace and quiet when things got real. I was out at a buddy's house and I was about eight beers in when I got a call from my wife. P.S. I do not condone drinking. It's nasty. Um, uh, it was 11 at night so I figured she was calling me to see if I was going to need to ride back to the house. But when I answered I heard her sobbing uncontrollably and freaking out. She told me that she was watching Netflix with the dogs when someone knocked on our side door. She knew I was out drinking that I wouldn't have driven home, so she was admittedly pretty scared right off the bat. Plus, no one ever uses a side door. I've always made fun of her being for being sort of a scaredy cat, but it turns out that it may have saved her life. Instead of going to the door, she used the barking dogs as a distraction and crept into the office where our security system was. She rewound the footage and saw this. There's a link. To a video. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, oh, there, there's a dude. There's a dude. There's a dude. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm gonna let you watch this. It's really weird. Watch. Watch over here on the side of the screen. I don't know if it's washed out or not, but.
Hopefully it picked up. Oh wait, here we go. I'll let it replay. It's gonna restart, okay. Just watch over here. Sorry, I don't know how to cut footage in, so this is the best thing to do. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's weird. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was a guy walking along the bush. And I think he was carrying an axe. Wait, right, let me get back to where I was. Um, if you weren't able to watch it, that it, that... It's the footage from our camera showing a hooded man crossing the brush line that separates our house from the meth house's yard. As he gets closer, you can make out that he is holding an axe in his hand. I was right. Once she saw this, she immediately called the police. Two officers arrived within 15 minutes, or with five, five minutes, I cannot read. They searched the surrounding area and questioned the meth heads in their house. But ultimately, nothing came of it. Instead of waiting around to get my murdered by my own axe, we started packing that week, apologized to our landlord for leaving so soon, and found a much better house in a much better part of town. And this is from Reddit user Hello Hello EG It's Donkey. That's a weird name, but okay. Well, there you guys go. That was the story. My good axe went missing. I will leave a link to the story down below in the description if you want to read it for yourself and watch that crazy video for yourself. Sorry if you couldn't see it on my camera. Like I said, I don't know how to cut footage in. So, yeah. That's what you get. Like me holding my camera, or holding my phone all up in your face. Sorry if I just like, put my hand too close to your face. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And please follow all my social media down below in the description. Stupid nose, stop itching. Please hit my bubble to subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday. Peace out, chillers.